this story name will be strongness dedication prophet muhammad identity of god prophet muhammad was absolute in believing absolute faith in god and absolute in love of god and by no mean he wanted to compromise because arabian give him the opportunity if you stop criticizing our gods <coughs> then go ahead and preach about your god we not going to bother you we not going to stop you so there should be some basis that you can compromise with us that we worship our gods and gods and you worship your god and we go continue in our life but prophet muhammad insisted that arabia create confusion and if i compromise with the basis that you worship your gods i worship my creator who create everything that mean i am agree with your god god said and they the one ever when muhammad was in uh, went where they all the arabian tribe get together <coughs> muhammad start argument that your gods are only statues which cannot do anything but just statue and the arabian tribes start making argument if you say something bad about our gods then we going to say bad things about allah this argument became so intensive that <coughs> prophet muhammad had to leave this place later some more crash came and they say uh they heard about this argument confrontation what muhammad was saying about their gods and rejected to compromise and muhammad say they all first got you created and they say we're going to make a next time dialogue with him that arabian they worships angel christian they worships jesus that he is the son of god and he is god and uh, sorry arabian 
they are worshipping different gods. And there are other in the Arabian believers, they worship angels. And so this, if Arabian God will go in the hell, what does Muhammad say? Then if Jesus will go also in the hell, because Christianity worship him. And who worship the angel, if angel will also gonna go in the hell. And then Arabian Quraysh was very happy that this was a very powerful argument. <coughs> and Bani Sahib, they worship this man Aziz. So they were very happy and they wanted to now next time confrontation with Muhammad. When Muhammad heard this thing and they crossed this message that Christianity worship Muhammad, uh, Christianity worship Jesus and Jewish worship the man Aziz, Arabia worship different God and angel. So if Jesus will be going to hell, angel will be going to hell. What about this now? It's amazing what Muhammad gave the answer. Muhammad says, if it is Jesus or angel or if it is your God, whoever call himself and take position of God, it doesn't matter angel or angel. Jesus or this Aziz who Jewish worship, they all will end up in the hell actually. Amazing. If Jesus believe or angel or anyone claim to be God, then regardless, doesn't matter. They all going to be end up in the hell. They tell how strong zero tolerant he do not want to have any partnership and believe there is only there is no God only except one creator who is a creator of everything creator of all creation Usman was a third successor was a, that time under the protection of Quraysh or his own tribes. But when he saw how they giving pain and suffering, he thought that he pain and suffering to Muhammad and his father. So he said to his tribes, I don't need your protection. So he gave their protection away and next day, someone hurt him very bad and beat him. His eyes got a very bad injured. Next day, he strikes for the people who give him crash protection. They say, see, if you would be in our protection, nothing would happen to you. In this point, Usman says, when Prophet Muhammad is so much paying prices, pain and suffering and you are after him, and his follower, I feel very much conscious, caution those, 
gewissenlos that I keep myself my strong tribe protection and the next day he went again and he says yesterday you hurt and injured my eyes right side and if you wanna hurt and injure my eyes left side I am continuing will pay the prices as an ordinary Muhammad follower I don't take your protection I am under the God protection but if Muhammad pay prices of pain and suffering and his follower I want to I want to be also ordinary Muslim so they were the great people and Usman is the only one. Muhammad gave him one by one his two daughters to get married because one daughter died after Muhammad gave another daughter to let him marry. And Prophet Muhammad was saying, if I would have another daughter, I would give to Usman to marry. So Everyone know this is a shining history of Usman that how much with his investment, with his businesses, he was the richest man. He gave help to Prophet Muhammad and his father. There is no one else pay this so much sacrifices and Usman has done all the time to assist Muhammad and his father with financial. In this case he was a great man and one time he said a very historical sentence Umar uh, is so hard and do not want to give or help his family or other but he is a man of justice <clears throat> but I help with my money to my family and other and I want to have same thing what Umar want to sacrifice that he want to have a justice for everybody and I help Muhammad and Muslim and other that God feel compassion and give me reward actually. Usman was a great man but later he got a assassination assassination because uh, he was not a strong personality to make a long decision and Banu Umayyah finally dominated him this was his tribes and he made many wrong decisions in the influence of his tribe crash and this cause and he end up assassination but who make a who kill him this was Muhammad follow follow son very near family who tried to kill him actually. There was a great confrontation between Ali and Usman because Ali was standing strong that he is not a justice. He gave his tribes so much illegal money which is a belong to which is not belong to him he is a, a successor and he made many many wrong decisions but Usman many times they was agreeing and in dialogue but in the end Usman changed many times and his the uncle of Muhammad Abbas 
he was a channel between to make a peace. But in the end he saw that Osman is influenced by his tribes and every time Abbas, the uncle of Muhammad, brought a peace agreement very quickly later, few hours later, Usman changed. After this, Usman's behavior was a little bit like a, like a dictator types. He was uh, beating Muhammad follower Abdullah bin Masood and uh, Amal bin Yasser or Abu, uh, what is his name was, Abu Zar Ghufari and many people became uh, victim of his angerness. Anyway, in the early stages of Islam, until Islam found power, Osman had given amazing financial help and uh, amazing support to Muhammad and his follower. Even he buy wealth from Jewish so Muslim can become independent and for the water actually. So, internal life is always the same minus and plus. If you have more plus, then you are, can go further. And Usman I saw in one paradise actually. But his plus was very great because he was helping Muhammad and Islam that and his father that time when mainly they have Muhammad and his father have nothing actually and they were very weak position especially financial and Usman was the greatest man who supply uh, as a backbone, then Islam can become a strongest religion. So he had a great contribution. And uh, anyway, in the end, he got a kill. Another person is a great person, Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr paid so many prices in Makkah, then finally he came to Prophet Muhammad and asked, I want to leave Makkah and I want to travel to Medina because they are giving me so much pain and suffering. However, Prophet Muhammad stopped him and said he should wait. But in these times, what happened actually? Prophet Muhammad while Prophet Muhammad was preparing the one of tribe Quraysh gave protection of Abu Bakr but Abu Bakr was a man who could not hide his, his Islam and, uh, and this man he complained to Abu Bakr, I protect you and we don't want openly, publicly, you just read Quran and your activities in your house, uh, in the house, whatever you do, that's okay. But when you read Quran and many people come and get influence, then Abu Bakr say, you want, I give your protection away. He say, yeah, give me your protection away. And Prophet, ah, oh, sorry. Abu Bakr say, then I give your protection away and I take the protection of God. But after this, this tribe, uh, of Arabia 
and this leader of Arabia, they start giving him more tough punishment, but he went all this process of cross, but he was the best friend of Muhammad, and uh, until the end he was, he done everything, even his most lovely daughter Aisha was, he gave to Muhammad, even they have a different age differences, but however Aisha became his wife. So later he traveled together with Prophet Muhammad and tribes and he was also wanted to kill him and uh, this was a very complicated situation actually but there was a one great man his name cannot be taken away from the history in Islam if there is somebody who received after Muhammad Shah <coughs> then this was the Ali. The Shia isn't belong to Ali, he's the founder. He's not a founder. Even Shia began when Ali died and they ask Ali, you want a we pledge with Hassan? He said, I don't stop you and I'm not uh, pushing you, you decide. So Shia means a friend. Yeah. And uh, the Shiaism began and then today is uh, amazing. After Sunni, the Shiaism is the one who coming uh, in the history of Islam actually, parallel with the Sunni Shia. And uh, though Shia is uh, in their teaching wise they are putting so many false news inside which is uh, and they are cursing we call Tabra cursing Muhammad Fadwar cursing Aisha Abu Bakr Umar all but I don't think this is a right thing actually that uh, to do it because these people have pay great prices so Kufar decided to kill Muhammad and uh, now question was if they go back your door the enemy find out so there was the only one solution that somebody should lay down and take the blanket Prophet Muhammad and pay his life so Muhammad can be free to give his message and escape from Makkah to Medina actually. And who was the greatest man? His greatest man was Ali who said to Prophet Muhammad, I lay down in your bed and the enemy watching you from the holes so I lay down there, take your blanket. So I mean thought that Muhammad still is inside, but Muhammad escaped. It is also amazing when God make a brotherhood between Archangel Gabriel and Mikael. One day God says, Mikael you love Gabriel? He said yes. And God asked Gabriel, Archangel, do you love Mikael? Because you make a brotherhood. He said yes, I love. Then God said, one of you have to die for your brother. I have to kill you and your spirit actually. When they heard this, both 
Akhil Gibrail and Mikhail say, Oh God, we want to live. Why? I cannot, uh, because of loving Mikhail or Mikhail say, I loving Gibrail, I want, don't want you to kill my spirit. When they don't want to die for each other, then God say, Go down. <coughs> and Wow, the greatness of <coughs> Ali, who lay down in the bed of Muhammad and taking his blanket, he want to be get killed. They will kill him. So his brother Muhammad could escape and can give my message to the world. So go down and protect Ali. Finally, there was a very late and they couldn't understand why Prophet Muhammad don't want to escape. So the all tribes, they choose everyone, one person from every tribes. And they say, we all together gonna attack with our sword and we will kill Muhammad. And then Bani Hashim, Bani Hashim, Abdul Manaf, they are, they are only small tribes. They cannot do anything against our powerful tribes to take away Rakhi back and justice. So however, they went inside and all the tribes, chosen people, they took the sword out and before they want to attack, they thought they said Prophet Muhammad sleeping. But one say, one took the blanket out. And there they saw there was no Muhammad. But Ali was laying actually. They were very angry. They beat Ali like a how way they could beat and brought in the Makkah. But they did not kill him because a tribe Hashem came and the more trouble could raise. So they make him, they left him then, life. So this was a great people who was surrounding around Muhammad. Sometimes my heart cry out and I was wishes, wishing if children would from such a strong members who will be united with Jesus and pay their prices, their life. So Messiah could fulfill the will of God and establish the kingdom of God. Pity that I was not living in the time of Muhammad. Jesus, sorry, not Muhammad, Jesus. If I live in his time, I would rather pay my blood. I would rather take cross that Messiah could live actually. But happy wise got way of many mysterious ways. Two thousand years later God chose me as a Messiah and give me the mission to build his ideal world. Actually. Here I see something a little bit which I like to share about Jesus. There is one story. One day Jesus was passing and saw Peter. He was working with his father and making that and Jesus said, what are you doing actually? He said, yeah, we want to catch fishes. He said, leave this thing and come with me. I teach you how to catch, how to catch Adam children and Adam. Here he did not say that, come and I teach you how to bring this world near God and let us catch this human that this human being will bring to God. 
nearly to the established kingdom of God. These two sentences tell later that 2,000 years they catch many fishes. Jesus and Peter. <coughs> However, they could not build the kingdom of God. They did not catch any fish for Jesus. And uh, once again, Jesus was also very impatient when his member was asking again and again question, want to know about spirituality, want to know God. He was very angry in this case. And uh, you don't want to repeat again and again answer and he says even oh devil how long are you gonna live with you it means his patient became very shortcoming patient and uh, in the kingdom to establish the kingdom of God is not by miracle but by all the revelation which God is sharing his divine secret his divine secret of his heart about him. This is the way kingdom of God established, but not by miracle. Miracle we saw in the end when Jesus could not perform miracle, they took the stone and they call him, they hit the stone and wherever he went and they call him that Satan left him. So miracle did not brought his mission very far. Only crowd became together because of miracle. They were standing nine kilometer because people came that their family get get a heal. But after this they went back to old world. Nobody was there. But when God in heaven wanted, they took the miracle away from Jesus and wanted that he educate with God, real God, heavenly, divine secret about God and about God's heart and many details which God was revealing, he was not able to do it. And even he said, he rejected, he said, I cannot share with you this heavenly truth because you have no ability to understand even earthly things. In this, he made a judgment, and this was a wrong judgment of Messiah, because it also tells that God make a mistake to choose the Messiah in such a time. God never make mistakes. This was a time that he should reveal all this revelation which uh, Jesus observed and experienced with God. This was the key for humanity to build the ideal world and the kingdom of God. But he did not reveal. In, in this case, he paid the prices and future generation uh, ignorance, future generation did not came to know God and God have the truths, God nature, God heart. So they could not build. And then, because Jesus claimed, who saw me, he saw God, and great misunderstanding came that God need one body, and he dwelling in this body, and this was a Jesus, Christ. This confused more identity of God, and this make Prophet Muhammad work much more difficult in challenge but this great man did not give up and refused to have a compromise if somebody world angel worship angel somebody worship Jesus or different God his clear statement was anybody who want to become God doesn't matter who they all gonna be end up in the hell actually because 
Setting a middle point between God is a worse crime. And for this, Prophet Muhammad, without compromise, all the superpower became against him. If this was the Arabia, this was the Persia, or Roman, regardless, so long he was living, <coughs> without compromise he rejected to God concept. And uh, he was a hero. He was a Nobody was a hero in human history for the identity of God, but he was the one who removed the darkness, totality. And today Islam is a foundation should be based of two, two uh, soil. One is to explain mankind that God is the only one. Otherwise, you cannot find direct relationship if you believe in different gods. And second, Muslim, their work was high challenge to explain internal life. That Prophet Muhammad revealed many things about eternal life, life after death, many things about paradise, many things more. This was there to prepare mankind, but they did not do it. But very early stages, his followers was making confrontation with each other and they start fighting each other. And Prophet Muhammad was saying that there are 10 superstars in, uh, he called among of his followers. I don't remember, but among of them, the name was a, Abu Bakr was Umar Ali, Sad bin Abi Bakas, if I could remember, if I'm not wrong, Abdul Rahman bin Off, and uh, Usman, several more. Uh, I feel very sorry. If I will remember, I will record it here. But among of these 10 people, they became confrontation in the war, and Tala was one of them and Zubair was one of them and they became victim and while they were making war together they got a kill. This is the end of very sad story at very early stages Prophet Muhammad they came and created war among of each other. This was the greatest fear what Muhammad know that's why he did not want to take 30 years because Muhammad know if I take this 30 years then I have to tell very clear that most of teaching is my wisdom. Some teaching is about and more teaching is about angel world and God teaching is only one page. He had to tell the truth. Ali and his group were ready to take this responsibility. But even Ali said, if this would be revealed, I would kill Abu Bakr and Umar. But Prophet Muhammad saw that this bloodshed will happen now, this real war. To war outside with enemy was easy. But to make a war among of your own loved one, it is a an other painful story. And Prophet Muhammad did not reveal and he wanted to go to God and he don't. He said even uh, his one follower say, you should live here and solve those problems, then go back to God. But he said, no, I decide to go back God. So he gave up his mission in this point. Uh, otherwise, there would be bloodshed in uh, among of Muhammad's family. And, uh, but there will be in the end a lot of success, unity of all religion, 
Prophet Muhammad could go with his wife in Rome. There would be many things should be done, but Prophet Muhammad rejected and decided to die. Because while he was dying, their group's leader, they was fighting in this room and Prophet Muhammad was already very painful and sick and plus their argument and fight with each other, he asked everybody to go out. This is a very sad part that they did not let right Prophet Muhammad what he wanted to be right actually. And Ali, Ali wanted, his group wanted. But Umar group said that Prophet Muhammad is not anymore normal. He don't know what he's talking. And Quran is enough for us to live. This was the sad end of this Prophet. Because if you would reveal everything, then all the bloodshed and war will take among of his family. However, unfortunately, this took any anyway later. Confrontation between Ali and uh, Aisha, the great uh, 20,000, about some say 10,000 uh, relative um, about Parallel, Muhammad Fowler dies, Tala dies, Zubair dies, great people dies. This was a great disadvantage. And who took the advantage? Mavia, who Mavia family was always against Islam. The, his father was against Islam, Abu Sufyan. He was, but he took Islam, but somehow their character was very there was the worst enemy of Islam. And uh, Abu Sufyan's wife, mother of Mavia, was very hateful. Even Hamza, uncle of uh, Muhammad, when he died, he killed Ohud. Then she was, she hated him so much that she took his heart and tried to swallow it, but she could not swallow. Uh, However, later she followed Islam and Ma Prophet Muhammad forgave Abu Sufyan to his husband. But this family was until the last days against Islam actually. And monarchy system brought this uh, Maria when he came in confrontation with uh, after Usman killed he took a justification and make a great confrontation. All this thing I have written in the uh, criminal act of Prophet Muhammad. The whole history, how this ended up, and in the end, this was not even 50 years past that Prophet Muhammad 73 about all family has to pay price with blood and they got it killed. His family, the forefather was Muhammad. This was Muhammad ankle children, children. And all those people, among of them, was the Hussain, which Muhammad say he's the flower of paradise. They were all his lovely family, ankle children. They all got killed. The, and who killed this? Follow of Muhammad and uh, Muhammad, follower of uh, Muhammad, uh, next generation, children, they was the one who killed Muhammad's family. And uh, this Mullah, this uh, uh, Muftis, they gave a fatwa against Prophet Muhammad's family that they are not living according to the Islam. And there was the most terrible thing what they have done. And they all have to be die. And uh, in the end, uh, even the Prophet Muhammad's family was 
wipe out El Mavia son Yazid. He was uh, the powerful uh, emperor. One day he was taking one stick which Kaiser or Emperor has and Hussein teeth when they brought his hat which was a chopped his hat off he put in his teeth and he said any power with anyone who go against us that's the end happened and he moved his sticks in the Hussein teeth in this moment one old father of Muhammad was sitting there he stood up and he said to Yazid, yeah, don't do that. I have seen Prophet Muhammad so many times kissing his ankle child Hussein and he was saying they are the flower of paradise. And that's the way Islam spirit went out like a church are here but there's no spirit because Jesus could not build any home of God. So same thing happened that churches are there but God is not there. The spirit of God is not there. So 50 years was not even passed and everything turned to the monarchy system. Then Ali, Ali group became in the power and what they have done cruel thing to when he the tribe Umayyah, the Nabasiyah, and that's the way uh, the worst things happen in the line of 1,500 years. But the worst thing what happened, but Prophet Muhammad lose his wisdom, no prophet can come after him. And though he write down in the Quran that prophet will come, but who cares? Uh, because he was very much emphasizing that uh, and he give example even if there would be prophet Ali would be prophet uh, uh, Ali you are Harun but after Moses Harun was a prophet but you are not a prophet if there would be prophet there would be Umar and there was one palace and the whole palace was beautiful only one stone was missing I am the stone after this there is no need to be prophet and he went on and on and on and in the end Islam got a confusion. Not only Islam, even Abu Bakr sent the tribes to stop these people who were saying they are prophet and, uh, and uh, Musalma got a kid who was claiming prophet and many as well as Hasna and many other got a kid Umar times and then became tradition. Whoever claimed as a prophet, he should be killed. This was the worst act of Prophet Muhammad brought many disadvantages. And there was a, what heaven said, 12,000 prophets. Many got killed among of them. Many had to shut their mouth and they could not reveal what they heard by God, what they saw by God. Observation of Special world and the journey which they have with God, they could not open their mouth because whoever opened his mouth is very cruel way he got a kill. And that's the way you all can read in Islam doesn't belong to Germany, uh, uh, Islam doesn't or Europe doesn't belong to democracy. And Sharia doesn't belong to uh, democracy value. In the whole history you can read over there with very details. And uh, but however, uh, again the few sentences. Jesus did not found this devotion which Muhammad follow has, but. In this case, Prophet Muhammad was a very friendly. He created very social relationship around his follower and very lovely relationship. He explained even more as a 
working for the Archangel Gabriel and explaining more about God and God nature and giving hope that you will meet God eternal life. Even he says that uh, you can meet God in this lifetimes, like uh, if uh, you can see the moon but you cannot see the sun. But when God's light cooled down, you can see him. But the only mistake is when people made God, Sufi made God, and God was speaking with them, but there they have to shut their mouth and they could not reveal anything because if they reveal, then they should be. Muslim will ask, are you prophet? Or if they want to change some Quran because God was saying they could not make it because to change Quran, change Sharia, this was a impossible challenge and Subi could not do it actually. So finally, 12,000 many got killed, many kept quiet, many isolated, many went back to Islam. And this is all in the long run, not a disadvantages and painful uh, for Islam also. Mankind did not came to know uh, many things about God nature until I came. And if this, if Jesus would have humble nature, not aggressive nature, lovely nature, if he would show and demonstration unity with his follower, then the Saul who became Paul later, maybe he comes in his lifetime and have more great people. And God would give him again opportunity in Rome if they go they could establish, maybe they go with more crosses, but finally they could establish the kingdom of God. This you can read in my book, God with himself as a visible God. But repeating about past is not that I want to live in past. Uh, I'm not a man to live in past, but I like to learn something from past, then not to repeat those mistakes actually. 2000 years later from Jesus Christ, 1500 years later from Muhammad, God chose me and I do not know, maybe I did many mistakes, but one mistake I did not do. Uh, whatever I heard by God, all the observation, God showed me the kingdom of heavens, uh, I reveal and uh, all the journey which I have with God experiences, I reveal my those book and I am continue revealing because this is the foundation where all men can, can meet God. They all can become prophet. Prophet means to have a living relationship with God. And God has given prophecy. There will be new earth. It means mankind is going to have a living relationship with God. And it means God will not hide himself, he will be visible God, his light will be present and darkness will be removed from this earth. But this lucky wise, Muhammad got a great people, but however Muhammad rejected to become object of Jesus because early three days Jesus came, Jesus wanted he should take the mission of Messiah but Prophet Muhammad with his experiences, he don't want to work with him. There's every way is a sad story. But in the end, who pay the price in all, all the ways in many thousand years? Mankind. Mankind are the ones who pay the prices. Like Jesus say, you shut the kingdom of God before mankind. He said to Jewish people, but Prophet also shut the kingdom of God before mankind with their ignorance and with their act not revealing about God what they know. If this story touch your heart and bring to tear for God, then all what I have stationed about heaven and paradise, I will believe that 
I can take rust away from your heart. I can clean so you can be reflect God loyalty, God love. And then God is the one who never left mankind alone in the human history. Mankind is the only one. Again and again they are showing their back to God and they want to finish the need of God. Thank you.